right welcome back to my channel my name is Heidi if this is your first time here and if you are new here I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel today I'm gonna show you a green wearable Halloween makeup look let's get started starting with the eyebrows I'm using the same combo I've been using for months now the Revlon color stay brow tint in taupe to fill in the brows and elf wow brow gel in taupe I like to brush my brow hairs through with a clean spoolie to make the brow look a little bit softer and to blend out the product a little bit better. I'm using some concealer as a base. This is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer in Ivory. If you want, feel free to carve out the eyebrow. I want a little bit more of a natural brow look for today, so I'm not going to carve it out. Today I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics X Raw Beauty Christie Palette and I'm going to be using this green shade right here called Garden State. It's like an emerald green color. I'm using an Ecotools shading eye shadow brush and this shade is going all over the lid. Going a little bit over the crease, blending it upwards towards my brow. I'm winging out the eyeshadow just a tiny bit on the outer corner. These eyeshadows have some fallout, that's why we're doing the eyes first, as you can see right here, so it doesn't ruin the base. Picking up a little bit more to apply on the lid to get a more vibrant color there. And I'm using an Ecotool smudging brush for the lower lash line. I'm picking up the same shade, starting from the outer corner and working the shadow towards the inner corner. I'm using the shade Cafe Disco on the inner corner and I'm using my finger to apply this. Now I'm using MAC Cosmetics technical liner in uniform this is like a dark olive green color with some shimmer in it it's a little bit softer than a black liner i'm using elf glitter liner in sea foam on the inner corner as well to add some extra glitter and this glitter is green so it goes really well with the eyeshadow now i'm using elf precision liquid liner and creating a wing Starting from the inner corner, doing a very thin line, continuing the shape of the lower lash line and drawing a wing. And from the middle of my eye, I'm connecting the line to the line of the wing. And then I'm just coloring it in. You can of course leave the liner like this, but I'm going to add a little bit of a Halloween slime effect. And I'm going to create a little drips on the wing part. And then I'm going to use Barry M. Hivis liquid eyeliner in Charged Up, which is the bright green liquid liner. And I'm applying this on the drips. I only applied them on the eye side of the drips, not all the way around. And now it's time for some mascara on top and bottom lashes. I'm using the Ardell 122 Wispies. For the face, I'm using B by Supertruck Perfect Base Prep Oil. My face is really dry from doing all the Halloween looks. This one is a nice and hydrating base for foundation. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. Blending this out with a sponge. I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer in number 10 vanilla and i'm mixing in a drop of elf 16 hour chemical concealer in white to adjust the shade and i'm applying this on my face with my finger and blending it out with the same sponge that i use for the foundation i'm setting my face with the maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder in 104 i'm applying this on the areas where i used concealer next i'm using mac blush in harmony this is a brown blush so i use this as a bronzer or contour instead of blush i'm using this on and right under my cheekbones i'm using a revlon super lustrous lipstick in blushing mauve on my cheeks i'm using this as a blush and i'm also going to apply this on the lips later so i'm picking it up with my finger Applying it on the cheeks and blending it out.
I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow Liquid Highlighter in Citrine and I'm applying this on my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and above the cupid's bow. For lips I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. Just going to follow my natural lip line. I'm going to color in the corners. And now I'm applying the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Blushing Mauve. So this is it, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't seen my Halloween extra videos yet, I'm going to link some in the end of this video. I post on Instagram every single day, so if you want to see more of my makeup looks, more of my Halloween looks, you can just head over there and I would really appreciate it if you would give me a follow there as well. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing now. So I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!